single second of every single day. And I'd be stupid not to protect my child. She's got blonde hair. She's got big, pretty eyes. I'm not dumb. Why is it in these attempted abduction narratives that are so popular with white women on social media? There are common threads in so many of the stories. It's always a Target or a Walmart. It's always a white van. Police reports never get filed. But the I've been having, a, obviously I watched the first one, this lady, please go and go and have a look at her account and look at the videos she's made because they are, she's debunking this idea that you hear from mainly American mothers that, you know, every time they take their eyes off their little children, they're, either they or they themselves, you know, blonde white American women or their children are at risk of being abducted all the time. You do see it quite a lot and it's quite funny. Luckily, it's not so common in the UK. I'm not saying it's unknown, but, but it, and it's the same thing of people saying, I saw a white van driving slowly past houses with a foreign man. Yeah, it's the Amazon man. Um, it's been causing me enormous, enormous amusement that these women are so convinced. Both of my daughters were blonde, obviously, with blue eyes. It's not very uncommon. Not where I live, obviously. I'm English. Um, I live in a rural country town and I can absolutely promise you that absolutely nobody was ever going to take either one of my daughters. Not a bloody chance. Even if they did, they'd soon bring them back. Nobody wanted them. But yeah, I mean, everything that she says about it being rooted in white supremacy and all that is, is perfectly true and perfectly serious. But I'll tell you what, if you want a good giggle, do go and listen through. It's actually really funny.